Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. We're off to pick up some bales of hay that we cut in the last episode. We are on the fourth day of autumn. And the prices still pretty much suck. Uh, well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as say they suck. Just not what we're looking for. Uh, square bales, work position. There we go. So these bales will be going down in the barn by the cows. And the leftover bales that we get are going to stay up here by the sheep. For the winter and early springtime. So if I remember correctly, the time we finished filling up this trailer, we should have three bales left. Uh, we got to take care of some of the animals today. And right now, that's pretty much it. Just tidying up the farm a little bit, getting ready for winter. Uh, unless we get a great demand for something that we have. Which, you know, silage would be great. But we could be selling silage without a great demand soon. Obviously, because if you look at the bank account, yeah, we're just a little bit in the hole. Now, if I remember, I should leave us with three bales. And I see three bales, so I think we're all set to go. Yeah, we'll quickly head on down to the cows. We'll drop this stuff off. Got to come back up and get the trailer so we can give the cows some power food. But before we bring it down, we'll probably top off the chickens with the water. And uh, I think we got some enough, enough wheat left for them. So like I said before, we're losing about 12 grand a night. That's because we do not sell our milk. We deliver our own milk. That's right. We wait for the good price. I mean, that's something we could do anyways. Maybe I'll check to see what the price of the milk is. We may do that today because we do have a lot of milk in storage. Whoa. Truck did not want to steer there. Then when it did steer, it steered. So after we drop off this hay, we'll check the prices of, of stuff. I haven't checked them in a while. I skipped most of this morning because of rain. Mostly rain and bad weather. There are seed drills still sit at the dealership. There, now we got some hay down here for the total mix rations. As you can see, we're kind of getting a little bit low. We got a good amount of straw. And now we're going to have a, a little bit of hay. Oh, I don't need a park. Yeah. I think, yeah, I just need a park right here. Actually, if we do this. We'll unload it right off the back. That looks good. Okay, a little bit left on the trailer, but we're fine. There we go. Like a glove. Kind of. So we got about, I don't know, 40 some odd bales left. The good thing is the total mix rations 
has got stuff in it and it's got a full capacity of 150,000 liters. Before we head back up to the upper farm, uh, what are our prices looking at? Oh, milk, not so good. Silage, it's been the lowest I've seen it. Yeah, it's going up, but it's the lowest I've seen it. Uh, what about the crops that we have? Nothing green there. And uh, let's see, anything looking good here? Snacks for all, but that's the train. We do have 31,000 liters of it. Which would fill up the Joskin trailer. Uh, the wheat we're kind of keeping for the chickens. The barley we could sell, but that price is not looking that well either at the moment. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Sugar beet. Really? Sugar beet. Alright. Actually, I see there's two great demands going on. I forgot the other one. Sugar beet and... Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, rye, maybe? And we have neither. So now we'll head back up. We'll take care of the chickens. Turn that map off. We really don't need the map. Kind of know the map well enough now. Occasionally I'll uh, do my little peanut goofy thing, but you know. Feels kind of weird. I see the Volvo steering wheel and I've been playing ATS again. Which I have a Volvo truck and I try to move my head once in a while to move track IR and I don't have track IR on. Nor my steering wheel. I have a little problem, actually I know a few people have problems with their steering wheel in Farming Simulator. If you happen to tab out a Farming Simulator where you got the steering wheels on and tab back in, your steering wheel or the pedals won't work. It's a common problem. I've heard a few people have that, not sure what it's all about. but. Back this up. We'll grab the the tanker that we have. It's got water in it. Which is right over here. Gotta make sure the chickens are doing well. They do produce enough eggs to make a nice little profit. I don't know how many eggs they got now, but they may have enough to almost uh, get us back up to zero. didn't get quite in the box I guess oh yeah that's right with this tanker here I cannot back up to it like I do with the Joskin yep that's what that is why it's not working oh, I saw it there Come on. Water is not accepted here. Uh, sure it is. I'm just not in the right trigger, apparently. Alright. New approach. Got to kind of hug the fence here just a little bit. Uh, 
All right, am I getting the water and the grain mixed up? Uh, yeah, that'd be why. I'm trying to put the water where the grain is. All right, I knew that. Water is not accepted here. Okay. Come on. Giving water to chickens shouldn't be this hard. Wow, there we go. Finally. And the cows are getting to the point of, you know, they need some uh, power food. See if the sheep desire any water today. They do, not much. Just enough room to turn around in here. But to get out without hitting the mailbox is a little tricky, but we're out. But it will be nice at some point uh, to get back to selling some stuff. Make some cash. I mean, we got money just sitting around. Just the wrong time of the year for it. Or the price sucks. Or we're waiting for our good demand. That should be enough wheat, I think. I think, I think, I think. If not, it'll get get them by. I think they only take 3,000, but they're not. Obviously, they weren't empty. Yep, they didn't take it all either. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll grab their eggs that they have for us. Uh, what? Uh, 800 eggs. Kind of forget. Is it sieve to collect? Yeah. Thank you, ladies. We could buy more chickens, which means more eggs, but at the moment, obviously... We did pay off our loan a little bit, so I could I could borrow some cash. Let's see how much uh, we get for these 800 eggs. After we put this grain back away and head down to take care of the moo cows. Close this door back up because we should be done in there. But all these great demands keep popping up, but for nothing that we have. But is that always the case? Or usually you get a great demand after you just sell something.
taking it easy around the corner today after that uh, first spin out that we had. Tell you what, let's go sell these eggs first to make the bank account look just a little bit better. Got to make the bank a little bit happy as well. Wonder if our grass field's ready to be fertilized yet. Something we can try. And just around this corner, we can sell some eggs. Let's see how many we get for it. So, how many eggs do we have? Just to make uh, 809. 8,300 dollars that is uh, pretty nice I think <laughs> and that is oh, how many eggs is that since like the be it's only been like uh, whoa hello truck it's been like uh, oh this road does not go around ha 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 I thought this road looped around but it does not at least we got a little turning around area. But that's 800 eggs in about uh, seven days, eight days, something like that. So it might be beneficial to us to actually start buying some more chickens. But first things first. We need to go take care of the cows because the cows require some power food. Yeah, these cars do go a lot faster in a straight line, but ain't, when they get to a corner and a curve, forget about it. Now let's go get get some uh, power food to make the cows a little bit more happy. Of course, they don't know they're just about out. Now they should take a full trailer, no problem. Silage, straw, and hay. They're they're pretty well full. I don't think it's going to refill what we. Uh, yeah, actually, it should take. Uh, you know, fill it back up for what we take. There we go. Let's go see what the cows have to say about this. Actually, I'll have to look at overall how the cows are doing. Uh, silage and hay will be taken care of. Straw, they can probably go another day. They'll be fine. And water, they'll need some eventually. I think we'll leave that trailer there because we'll probably have to... I think I'll top off the cows tomorrow. On the... What the uh, yeah, the fifth day of autumn.
We'll top them off with water and straw tomorrow. Because this day is coming to a close. But I think what we're going to do now. I know I said I was going to buy chickens. But you know what? We got to keep saving our money. Because we need that T8 New Holland. Let's go see if this grass field is ready to be fertilized just yet. Not that I'm going to cut the grass again this year. Just if we can get another stage of fertilization done in the fall. It's one less stage we have to worry about next spring when we're going to be, you know, taking care of our fields and such. Because like I said, I'm not going to work anymore in any more people's fields and get money that way. Did a lot of that to start the farm. And uh, it's going to be kind of fun to get us back out of debt, which, you know, we should be able to. And we cut a lot of wood. And I want to wait until that wood is, uh, well, the trees that we've planted are regrown. I don't think this is ready to be fertilized. And I'd be wrong. It's ready to be fertilized. Great. I forgot about our, our three bales, though. So after we fertilize this, we'll have to go back, get the bale spike with the John Deere, come back and park those up with the sheep bar. So if this field is ready, that means the lower field should be ready as well, because we cut that before this one. And like I said though, but I don't plan on cutting either field. We only got two more days after this. It'll, it won't, I don't think it'll be worth our fuel to cut the grass in either field. Yeah, the T6 New Holland, this has a little bit of a problem with this uh, fertilizer spreader, especially when it's got a full load in the back of it. But having doubled the working width compared to the one we had, to make quick work of this field. Uh, we are out of artificial fertilizer up here. That should not be a problem for the amount of fertilizer that we can make now. Our 50 cows will produce enough manure and liquid slurry by next spring to help us, you know, provide enough for the fields up here that we have. that we only got now three fields but they're you know they're big ones now they're big ones yeah we'll call that covered uh, let's just take a look at it nicely covered and of course we got fertilization in this field because we did chopped straw. Of course you're going to see the little gaps here where the fields uh, were not. Didn't have no chopped straw in it is what I want to say. Alright so let's go back we'll drop this off. We'll come pick up the bales and I think we'll have to call it an episode. Yeah, I thought, well, maybe we'll sell the milk, but then uh, when I saw the price of milk, I said, no, thank you. The milk prices do seem to change quite a bit. Uh, last I checked, it was like 805 or something like that. But it wasn't green, but it said 805 wasn't going up or down. And now it dropped to 100, 100 bucks, man.
But we will have to think about buying more chickens when the money comes around. I mean, we got a good chunk of change from the chickens right there. That brings me back to the days of FS15 when I had... I think it was a thousand chickens. I don't know if I had a thousand that was the max. I don't quite remember. But we'll have to fertilize our big field in the next episode, I think. Just to cut down the amount of work we got to do in the springtime. How dare I get stuck? Here we go. Go collect these three bales, bring them back to the sheep, and they should, we should be all set for them for a while. Maybe two seasons, probably. At least this winter and possibly next winter. But it's good, to, good. To, basically what you can do with the chickens and the eggs is uh, for every hundred you get a thousand. Meaning for every hundred eggs you have you'll probably get like a thousand bucks. Where's that third one? There it is. But I'm also seeing that those uh, two grass fields by the sheep are something that we may need and we may do that next season because obviously the sheep are going to start reproducing again in the spring and we're going to get more sheep which means you know we might need some more grass or more hay for them there's a car in my butt Usually it's the other way around. Now one thing I did notice uh, when it was raining. We get out here and we walk up to this bale. You can see this bale has lost some of its... Uh, it's not at 4,000. It's at 38, 35. That's seasons kicking in. But the original bales here are still at four, and I think that's because they're wrapped. Uh, I can't check those because they're still on. Actually, let me put these over here. Yeah, so those are at 4,000. I was wondering because it did rain overnight and they were outside in the rain, so I didn't know if it would deteriorate them just a little bit. This hay's been here for a year and we've lost some of it. Not much. If it was grass, it'd be long gone by now. Um, actually, we'll leave the bale spike right over here. Uh, is it going to pick them up when I get near? Nope. So basically just tidying up around the farm, getting some things done, taking care of the animals a little bit, or that's all basically kind of what we did. Picked up the bales in one field and took care of the animals. But I do like taking care of the animals. And like I said, at some point we'll have some pigs. Actually, I should park the John Deere back here next to... The artificial fertilizer because we'll be using that in the next episode to do the field below unless something changes drastically like the prices of things but uh, yeah I gotta bring up some more fertilizer from down below 
10,000 seed should be more than enough for what we have. But, uh, yeah, we need these prices to go up. But if we take a look at the animals, I just got to take care of the, the cows tomorrow. They should have enough straw and water to get them through the night. And, uh, yeah, si uh, total mix rations or power food, we'll give them some more tomorrow. They're up to 86% health, which is good. And like I said, they got quite a bit of milk in the tank. That's almost two tank loads. And, of course, manure and liquid manure, they're starting to produce rather well. Sheep are not, produ are not producing wool at the moment because it's fall. But their health is up to 94%. Yes, yeah, so we're just waiting for, mainly, I want to see the silage one. No, we, I need to see that one click up because we got a lot of that to go. And, of course, milk wouldn't be that bad either. But for today, that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.